AutoLine Daily is brought to you by Siemens PLM Software, transforming the process of innovation. Here are today's top headlines. Chrysler lost 1.7 billion euros last quarter. Tesla is working on EVs with Mercedes. And Toyota has the highest brand value of any automaker in the world. Up next, we'll be back with the news behind the headlines. This is AutoLine Daily for Thursday, October 23, 2008, and now the news. Daimler released third quarter earnings today, and it reports that it lost 351 million euros for the 19.9% it owns of Chrysler. In turn, Chrysler says that's because Daimler uses international accounting standards. If you use GAAP standards, which is used in the U.S., then Chrysler says Daimler only lost 88 million euros on its Chrysler holdings. But if you apply that to all of Chrysler, then the company either lost 1.7 billion euros for the third quarter using international accounting standards or 440 million euros using the U.S. ones. Speaking of Chrysler, Jim Press, the company's vice chairman, spoke to reporters in Detroit last night. He said talks of a merger with GM is just speculation then it's not productive to talk about it. Here's part of what Press had to say. Well, I can understand there's anxiety and there's fear about what's happening and those kinds of things. So I think that uh, it's understandable, but, and I think that I'm sure that when there is anything that's responsible that we can talk about, then people will be the first to know. But until then, it's just, it's just not productive to get distracted with a bunch of speculation and what if. We want to thank WWJ Automotive reporter Jeff Gilbert for sending us that clip. WWJ is one of AutoLine Daily's media partners. The European Commission is set to launch a billion euro fuel cell project aimed to help automakers get hydrogen fuel cell vehicles on the road. But according to Wards, the project is meeting some criticism from a fuel cell and hydrogen association because the European Commission only intends to provide about half of that billion euros and the industry feels more money is needed to make the project a success. Audi of America announced plans to offer HD radio as a standard feature in many of its vehicles beginning with 2011 models. Audi currently offers Sirius satellite radio as a standard feature and will continue to do so once HD radio becomes available. HD radio is making very slow progress, but more and more automakers do seem interested in using it. Tesla, the automaker that's developing an all-electric sports car, is rumored to be sharing its drivetrain technology. According to an auto blog report, the company is allegedly working with the giant German automaker Daimler to develop an electric drivetrain for smart. Reading between the lines, it seems like Tesla could be supplying the lithium-ion battery pack to Daimler in exchange for investment capital. Which car companies have the greatest brand value? Well, according to Interbrand, Toyota has the most value in its brand of any automaker in the world. Mercedes is in second place, BMW is in third, but Hyundai is climbing up the list fast and is now ahead of Porsche and Lexus. Coming up next in our feature story today, we'll take a look at Volkswagen's all-new minivan. We'll be back right after this. Siemens, transforming the process of innovation. It's been a busy year at Volkswagen. Earlier this year, the company introduced the all-new Jetta Sports Wagon, a new crossover, the Tiguan, and its new 50-state clean diesels in the U.S. And joining the lineup now is the Rutan minivan. Volkswagen partnered with Chrysler to produce the Rutan because of Chrysler's minivan reputation. But interestingly, VW sees the Honda Odyssey as its main competition. Aside from the design, the only difference between Chrysler's minivans and the Rutan is the tuning of the suspension and steering to make it look and feel like a VW. The Rutan comes with amenities and safety features you'd expect in a minivan, like front and side airbags, electronic stability control, rear seat entertainment, and fold flat seats for the third row. In other words, it's almost just like the Chrysler minivans. In fact, the Rutan will be built in the same plant as the Chrysler ones, which will give Chrysler additional manufacturing volume. VW hopes the Rutan will sell 35 to 40,000 vehicles per year in the U.S. market, and that's part of Volkswagen's broader goal of reaching 
800,000 units in sales annually in the U.S. by 2018. And that's it for the top news in the global automotive industry. But don't forget, you can get podcasts, transcripts, and a whole lot more on our website, AutolineDaily.tv. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Visit our website for even more great content all week long. AutoLine Extra, John's Journal, Podcasts, and even more. So click over and get the inside view at AutoLineDetroit.tv.